Next, we will talk about how to set up different camera positions. This is a very important part of your preparation. If possible, visit the venue before preparation starts to already scout good camera positions. To create professional looking shots, you need to create multiple different ones. At least one camera should be able to film the whole stage for an overview. There should also be a camera that is able to take close-ups of the action. So make sure that the camera angle, perspective and zooming capabilities are in harmony with each other. After deciding the distance and the height of the camera, comes the positioning. In locations such as conferences or lectures, if you plan to use three cameras, how should we arrange them? The main camera, camera 1, should be pointed at the speaker. The secondary camera should be in the center to take a full shot of the stage. The third camera can be behind the speaker, so that it is capable of shooting an audience shot. Sometimes, when the audience and the speaker have an interactive discussion, you want to take that shot. During some lectures or conferences, the speaker uses a PowerPoint presentation. Use the signal from the computer as an input for the switcher. During the lecture, the director will be able to switch to the full screen presentation and use a picture in picture shot of the speaker. Next, let's talk about talk shows. We will set up the three cameras in a triangle. If you face the stage, we will put the first camera on the left side, the second one in the middle and the third camera on the right. On the stage, if the host sits on the right, we will assign the left to shoot the host. The right camera cross shoots the guest and the middle camera shoots the whole stage. One tip, every camera takes the shot of the current speaker. In this way, the director can instantly switch between shots. This is one basic method of multi-camera EFP switching. Next, let's take a look at how to shoot a classical music event. This arrangement looks like a talk show. One camera on the left, one camera on the right, and one in the middle. The left camera can shoot the right side of the stage. The right camera can shoot the left side of the stage. And the middle camera can shoot a wide angle of the full stage. Ideally, you should have a fourth camera while shooting the whole orchestra. This camera can take close-up shots of the conductor, who is very important for the whole performance. The last application is a rock concert. Again, you need three or four cameras to shoot an event like this. The fourth camera is now a free roaming camera between the audience and the performers. This way we can dynamically choose to shoot the audience or the performers. This camera can be on a dolly for extra flexibility. Please note that the left and right camera should not be placed at the edges of the stage. Otherwise you can end up with only side shots of the performer. It is better to place these cameras closer to the center of the stage. Again, the third camera can shoot the whole event in a wide angle. 